We do, and that and that is why, again, I believe the more appropriate action here is that those people that are responsible for violations, you know, there would be a small surcharge on the violations that they receive when somebody is guilty of a DUI or, uh, you know, other infractions. Those are the folks that utilize the system. Those would be the individuals that would pay rather than an across-the-board property tax increase. And we're going to push this legislation and do our best to make sure that it really makes it to the finish line. Meanwhile, um, we do think that the amount that is being charged to these towns is inappropriate. It is too much. It's too expensive. And it's going to force them either to establish their own police forces or even if they do regionalize or if eventually sheriff's departments are able to supply the police services for them through an interlocal agreement, it's still going to cause an increase in their local property taxes. We need a system and a plan on doing this, just not a tax bill that went out to these towns, you know, in the last couple of days. If we're going to make this change, we need to encourage the municipalities through funding and through creating legislation that allows them to merge more easily, that allows them to work with county sheriff's departments, that allows them to be able to provide police service at a low cost without increasing the cost to the taxpayer. And I will continue to emphasize that because that should be the primary focus of what everyone is doing at this point in time in the state of New Jersey legislatively is trying to create tax relief and trying to stop more tax pain. This increased levy, this new bill from the state of New Jersey to our rural towns causes tax pain to our local property taxpayer. It doesn't help the municipalities that do supply police service, and it hurts those that have the state police. The legislation that I'm working on with Assemblyman Milam actually creates two funds. It creates a fund for those towns that do not have rural police for property tax reduction. They would actually receive grants for property tax reduction. And for the towns that are rural, they would receive money for their rural police. The bottom line is it would help rural towns to control property taxes. It would help the towns that have their own police to be able to afford them and control property taxes. And the best part of of this legislation is that if the state of New Jersey did not use the money to lower property taxes that are due to police services, they would no longer be able to collect the surcharge. Or in other words, the state of New Jersey could not use this money for anything else but property tax relief. That's what we need to do.